Look at you. You're, you know what? You're just like the, you're like the bulldog. Oh, nice. <laughs> I haven't even, look at, I'm still tying on. I haven't <laughs> even got my line on yet. You're in the water, you're already catching fish. You've had like three strikes yeah. and you're into them. This looks beautiful too. It looks like a nice one, doesn't it? It's yeah. fighting good. Okay, I'm gonna get the net. I'm gonna get it rolling here. Holy cow, I haven't even rigged, like I said, I haven't even got my rod set up yet. And you're already into fish. Oh, that's nice. This is a good starter one. And also, you're very oh. proficient at throat oh. sampling, you said, too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? We won't throw, throw sample this one. We know they're feeding on chronomus because they're starting to come off. Mm -hmm. But what we'll do is after, oh, he's wrapped it's all himself. Tangled. Oh. There you there go. go. Nice. Look at that Oh, guy. look at the size. Yeah, that's a beauty. That's a real nice fish. Let's see where we got him here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold the rod. Okay. And I'm going to hold that. And I'll let you get in there. And these oh. rods, we're gonna have to move yeah. those rods. Yeah, well, you can after. put them standing yeah, up. Yeah, they're not a great location. So, yeah, get your hands wet. Oh, it's a nice starter fish. Yeah. Look at that. That's a beauty. Look at that. Nice job. Oh, he's fat. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll let him go. That's awesome. Nice start. Ooh. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> well, look at that. How's that for a starter fish? Yeah. You know, the beauty is. I'm fishing with Annika Jurgensen. You guys were up in Terrace for years. We did a ton of stuff together, and now you're down the island. You made the special trip up to Kamloops to fish with us. One of our sport fishing on the fly young guns, cool hat, yeah. total support, <laughs> and we're doing all the coasting. So you know what? It's going to be a fun day today. Looking forward to oh, yeah. phenomenal cronman fishing with you. Yeah. So that's today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Yeah, give them time. Give them, yeah, because I put on, uh, you got five pound test on. Oh. <laughs> so the key here mm -hmm. is keep your rod tip high because mm -hmm. you want to use the flex in the rod. And when he wants to go, you let him go. Yeah. See, that's the difference between steelheading like you're used to. <laughs> yeah. right? You just put the, put the screws to him and trout fishing, right? Because, you know, we got four and a half, like four X, five X tippet. So, you know, it is pretty light. And when they want to go in, you use a little flies too. Another nice one. Yeah. This is awesome. And they're just starting to crank up. You know, we're just starting to see some chronomids come off now. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. pretty exciting. I think we're going to have a good day chronomiting. Wait, here okay, he comes. Here he comes. Oh, there oh, he no. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> as soon as we netted him, the fly popped out. Oh, I still got it. You still got it. And there it is. The little, you know, we'll show everybody. It's just a tiny little green oh. Chiabras pupa, you know, size 16. But look at that fish, Annika. Look at the fat fish. I know. Look at our little fly. That little guy. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's going to get some nice fish. So I'll, again, I'll move over here. You can step up yeah. and then you can do the honors with your fish. And you know what? Eventually we'll do a throat sample yeah. and see what they are feeding on. But we know they're on chronomids. We know they like the little green guy. Oh, there he is there. That's a nice fish. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. Hold good. it up. Beauty. <laughs> Stop. I know. They're tough to grab, aren't they? Okay. I can hold the, I can hold the net up a little bit if you want. Or do you have them? Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Oh, oh nice. look at it. Ooh. Look at oh, there he goes, right in the net. Dropped him again. That's all right. You can hold him up. up oh, there. Gosh. Yeah, and hold him up briefly and show everybody. Oh, my God. But nice fish. Good fight, <laughs> isn't it? He's in the air. Yeah. If I can pick him up. There he is. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. He's and there gone. There he goes. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. That's the thing about slimy fish. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? We haven't even really gone to the bench. No. Let's go to the bench. We're going to tie up that little uh, that little pupa, that little green one, because they, they work good. Yeah, they do. All right. <laughs> I'm going to tie the Chiabras or glassworm pupa. So a lot of anglers know what a glassworm is. It's that clear piece of jelly that's in the water that fish often feed on. Well, Chiabras are members of the chronomid family. And when they pupate, the, pupate, the pupa 
are a very light olive green. And what distinguishes the Chiabras pupa from a chronomid pupa is that the Chiabras pupa do not have white gills. So I'm going to tell you the Chiabras pupa, that's a very important fly to have in your Stillwater fly box. For the hook, we'll use a size 14 Scud pupa, some 8 aught olive thread to tie with, a 5 32nd inch brown magic bead for the bead, some fine copper wire for the rib, and some pearl olive flashabu for the body. So I've got my brown magic bead on the number 14 scud hook. I take my 8 aught olive green thread and just wrap a thread base back to the bend of the hook. And then I'm going to take fine regular copper wire, not red copper wire, just uh, just the natural colored copper. It's going to be the rib. And then I'm going to take a couple strands of uh, dyed over pearl olive flashabu and uh, number 6969 when you, when you get it from your fly shop. So I've just got two strands of it here. And then I'm going to take it, take the two strands and put it around the uh, my tying thread. I'm just laying it down the shank of the hook, back to the bend, then bringing my tying thread forward. And then I'm just using my tying thread to build up a bit of a taper. Like so. So now I've ended up with four strands of the flashaboo. And then I'm just bringing it right to the bead tying it off and then taking my copper wire and giving it five to seven segments. Calibre's pupa are typically pretty small so 14's maybe you can tie them on a 12 but 14's probably the most common size you'll see swimming around in the water and the big thing is no white gills. They have a brown thorax head area and uh, that's why I've used this brown bead. So you fish them just like you'd fish any other Conway pupa uh, under an indicator of course uh, or with the floating line long leader and there it is green Chiabras pupa. Wow isn't that cool? Yeah. So I want to tell everybody a little bit of the variety. You know, Annika and I had a good discussion about, you know, chronomid colors. And right away we were talking about, well, the little teddy, you know, the little red and black is always good one to start. We tried, we weren't getting much action. We noticed a bunch of different colors coming off. So we went green on Annika's and then bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Three in a row. And then I switched over first to a little, cast. Uh, first cast, a little first. chromey. Yeah. And there's another gentleman in the boat and saying, hey, he's having some really good luck on a chromey as soon as we switch. Bang. Yeah. So that's the other thing too, if you're out here and other people are around you, you know, let them know where you're catching fish on. <laughs> I think that's very cool. Oh, look at this. That's a, look at this. This is a five-way rod and it's got a good bend on it. I want a muscle, but that's a nice fish, eh, Annika? Oh, yeah. That's a, one like your size now instead of my little babies yeah, I've been catching. Yeah, this is a catching. full fish, not this a is, half oh, fish. Yeah, <laughs> she's being slagging me. I'm catching all these little fish. She's saying I'm getting half fish. I can't, I can't even count a fish yet. Now you're at 2.5. Oh, but look at that one. That's nice, yes. Oh. Boy, they're not easy to get in, are they? I'm really? Oh! Oh! <laughs> you jinxed it with the half fish. Oh, tragic. That was a nice one, too. Yeah, it was. <laughs> That's right. We got lots over where those are coming from. Yeah. Get, get your line out. Let's I get will. rolling. Boy, it got cool there for a little bit. I had it to put did. a sweatshirt on. The sun's kind of gone, but now it's calmed out. As soon as it calmed out again, you got this guy. And we had to change the fly. Yes. What happened to your last fly, Annika? It broke off. How did it break off? <laughs> On a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly did. And that's what we were telling Annika too. See how she's rod tip up. You know what? Use the rod for flex. Annika let it go straight, you know, like you would for a salmon or a steelhead. Yeah. And it just, you got no give. At least this way you've got give and it won't bust you off. So you learned a valuable yeah. thing. Okay, I'll get him. I'll get him. I'll get him. Okay, we got him. There you nice. Go. You know what I can do? I'll, I'll just let this guy go. It's a nice size. And then I want to do a little chat with you about the boat. Yeah, you know, as I'm letting this guy go, 
Tell me a little bit about this boat. Uh, <laughs> well, Dad started building it because everybody told him that he couldn't do it. There. So he decided to do it. <laughs> and, and then I helped out with painting and sanding. Stuff what do you mean like help? That. He had you paint and sand? I know. He had you do all the grunt work. Yeah, all the stuff he didn't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. Yeah. But isn't it cool? Like, I think it's a 14-footer multi set. Yep. Uh, he started in, when did you guys start? Like, how long did it take? A uh, couple months. Yeah, a few months. Three like, months. I remember seeing the posts on Facebook yeah. and he, he, you know, he emails and texts and said, I'm going to build a boat. We're like, haha, sure you are. Yeah. And here it is. And it's a beautiful boat. You know, you guys are going to really enjoy this down the coast. Oh, yeah. The only thing you need, different trailer. Trailer, no yeah. good. I, I went and saw his trailers. The wheels are about this big. <laughs> right? Yeah, Pretty small. We need bigger, bigger now, you're liking the Teddy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. First fish in a while. Well, for, well, it's calmed down. Like I said, it got quiet, but yeah. I think it's going to crank up. You know what? The afternoon, another bite comes on. Mm. Way to go, kid. You're rocking. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's a nice one, eh? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh. So, you know what? Really, uh, we've had green on today. Mm -hmm. We've had the chromie that I have on. We've got the teddy, the black yeah. and red that you have on. You had the other little green. So really, they're biting a lot. I mean, yeah. we are getting really good action on certain patterns. Like again, the, the teddy and the and this one here, the chromie has been the best. But until you broke off that green one, you were rocking them. Whoa! Oh, yeah. And this is a good size. And these are I mean, these are quality fish. Oh yeah. Right. Look at they're him. He's nice. just fighting. Really nice. I'm trying to keep his head up. Ooh, you got him. Go. <laughs> nice job. Look at the colors oh, on this one, isn't it's it? A fat fish. He's a fat, beautiful little fish. I'll just gonna hook them here. Oh well. Oh, yeah. The boat will tilt a bit, but it stays. And look at the normal place right on the top of the lip. Yeah. Yeah, a little chromey. You know, nice little, nice little pattern. But look at this little. You know, it's a nice fish. Not huge, but just whoa. <laughs> come on, come on out. There he is. Oh, <laughs> and he's gone. And he's gone. <laughs> So well, that's kind of the size when you catch him, oh, yeah. except for those two big ones that <laughs> we snapped off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's right. We got lots more. It's early in the day. We haven't even oh, had yeah. lunch yet. Oh, no. And you know what we should do? We should probably go and have lunch. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting hungry, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> that's the problem with them. They don't like to come in the net, even uh -huh. do they? And you're fighting them great. You know, rod tip high, perfect. Perfect way to fight the fish. Oh, oh there he is. Oh. <laughs> That's a oh, gorgeous fish. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. What I do for the team. Okay, I'll let you step back. And look at that, right, right in the, right in the tip. And got the little, yeah, little teddy right in the corner of the mouth. So I'll just. Yeah, you want to take the Yeah, I'll just grab this guy. I'll get the teddy out. See, that's the beauty of the chronomids, right there, right on the side of the lip, or they take it right in the top. That guy. Oh. Okay, come on. Yeah, right in the mask. He's in the. Yeah, I'll let you hold that. There's there. Yeah, there's a little Teddy. Oh, yeah. Right there, and I'll let you hold up your fish. Yeah, you can grab him that way. Sure. Yeah, there oh, he is there. Yeah. Oh, nice fish. Oh. Gorgeous. Oh. There he goes. Now we'll oh, let him go, though, but nice, yeah. eh? Oh, look yeah. at that. That's a. It's you know, nice this one, fish. you look at him, right? He's got a little bit of color to him, mm -hmm. but he's just, you know, he's going to be ready. So you hold him this way and see, he's got a little color to him. Yeah. But look at how gorgeous, eh? They're just real yeah. fish. And there he goes. Yeah! <laughs> On the teddy. Now oh, you're yeah. liking the teddy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> so tell me what you've used tonight. What, what, what have you gone through for patterns? Um, the chrome with the green. Green and chrome. The green one and then... Teddy, right, the one. little Chiabras people, a little yep. green with the brown bead was really good. Yeah, that one. Until you broke it off on the big, big fish. And now the Teddy. Yeah. And now you're fighting them good, right? You've got mm -hmm. your rod nice and high, and it's different than, than steelheading, yeah, right? Steelheading, you can really muscle them. Yeah. But trout fishing, got to be a little more delicate. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good job. This one? Ah, not bad. It's just going to jump. Oh, oh there. Oh, Really Come on, jump. You want the net? Sure. Did you get it? There it is. Oh. Popped right out. He just flicked it out. <laughs> so while I'm letting this guy go, I'll show everybody. He's a nice, beautiful 
you know, it's kind of the size of me catching all day, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of that 16 to 18 inch range ball. Mm -hmm. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but these guys that are chrome and fresh, they're, yeah. uh, they're tough. Okay, come on. Oh, <laughs> gee. Come on. I'm going to upside down them, get them docile there, and I'll flip them. Look at how chrome. Oh, yeah. Isn't that That's gorgeous? Nice. Beautiful fish. So, <clears throat> tell me a little bit about what you do for hobbies. Now, obviously, you love fishing. Yeah, and uh, just this year I, at Cow High, I started basketball and volleyball. So I was on the junior girls team for those, and we did really good. We went to provincials this year for basketball. Yeah. yeah won our bracket. Yeah, right on. And they, like, how tall are you? I'm 5'10". I'm not that tall. Come on, 5'10". <laughs> Compared to the other girls, there's like three or four girls that are taller than me. So. Are you kidding? But you've been tall. Like, you were yeah. tall early, and now you're kind of... Yeah, I stopped off. growing, yeah. But congratulations. Great yeah. volleyball. You also said you played, what was it, trumpet or something? Trombone. Like trombone. Trombone in the community band in Cowichan. Right on. Yeah. So you're involved in a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. But what do you like the best? Ooh. Um, Hello. What oh, are we doing today? Obviously, obviously fishing. Of course, Obviously good answer, fishing. good answer. Yeah. All right, I'm getting this back out there. We got, we're, it's hot right now. Yeah, it's it is. It's starting to crank up. Yeah. Well, Annika, thank you so much for a great day. It was uh, a lot of fun. So what'd you learn today? Did you learn anything at all? Casting and yeah. about chronomids after, with the leeches. Use yeah. leeches after chronomids. Yeah, because what are you used mm. to fishing? Like you're from Terrace, so mm. what are you, you used to what? Uh, big steelhead flies, exactly. big salmon flies. Yeah, it's a lot different, isn't it? It's yeah. a lot different approach. And look at you've got the hat just like the bulldogs. Yeah. Look at the bulldogs here, the SFOTF hat. And you know what? These are becoming pretty popular. We might have to actually start producing those. Yeah. So again, thank you very much for the day. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a lot of fun. You know, we're going to film quite a bit together going forward. Of course, up in Terrace for some yeah. big, big steelhead. So that's <laughs> going to be fun. When you're out here, though, take care. Conserve our waters. And we'll see you next time we take you sport fishing on the fly. I might have to get a hat like that. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Suits me. <laughs> to watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.